Well, hello again, guys. Welcome to another calculator tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a quadratic equation using your scientific calculator. So I am using the Casio 570 ES Plus. Pero if you don't have this uh, model, you can actually install a scientific calculator up in your phone like this. So actually, hindi sila magkamukha, pero they have the same functions. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, for us to solve a quadratic equation, kailangan muna nating tingnan yung equation kung ano yung gagamitin nating method. So may tatlong methods kung paano mag-solve ng quadratic equation. It can be factoring, it can be completing the square, or it can be by the use of the quadratic formula. Okay, so in this uh, quadratic equation, we can actually use factoring. So, paano nga ba ang pag-factor ng quadratic equation? Okay, watch me factor this equation. Okay. So, ganun ba? After natin i-factor, we are going to equate the factors to 0 and then solve for x. So, yung nasol na ni x values ay 1 at saka negative 9 over Four. But you know what? We can actually do this in the calculator. Siguro tatlong pindot lang pwede nang isolve ni calculator ang solutions ng quadratic equation. So for us to do that, go to mode, piliin kung anong number si EQN or equation. So hanapin si equation, ipindot kung ano yung number niya. So in this case, it's number 5. Tapos may lalabas na apat na equation dyan. Piliin mo yung nagmumukhang quadratic equation. And obviously, that's number 3. After pressing 3, may lalabas na ganyan, na A, B, C, and then 0, 0, 0. So, anong ilalagay dyan? You are going to input the numerical coefficients of the terms of the quadratic equation. So, di ba kung nakasulat ang ating um, quadratic equation in general form, ganito siya. And kung titingnan mo, yung A natin here, yung A natin sa quadratic equation na to ay 4, yung B is uh, 5, and yung C or the constant is negative 9. So itong mga to ang i-input natin sa calculator. So let's do that. Yung A natin is 4. Yung B natin is 5. And yung C natin is negative 9. Press equals, press equals, at lalabas na yung x value. So, meron na si first x value is 1, which is ito, na solve na natin. At meron naman yung second value, which is negative 9 over 4 yung ito. So, di ba? Very easy. Your calculator can do much more than you think. So, let's have one more example. Uh, before we input in our calculator, we have to make sure that the equation is written in general form. Okay, ulitin natin. Ang general form, yun yung lahat ng terms ng equation na sa isang side and then naka-equate sa zero. Gawin natin yan. Okay. Let's simplify. Okay. So, nakasulat na siya in general form. Pwede na nating ma-identify yung A, B, and the constant term. And then after that, input lang sa calculator. So input na natin yung a natin. Yung a natin is actually, ano, ano kaya ang coefficient nito? Kung walang nakalagay na number, the coefficient is 1. Press equals. B is negative 18. And C is positive 36. Press equals. Press equals. Meron na tayong x values. Na solve na ni calculator yung x values. Pero actually, yung quadratic equation na to, yung masosolve mo to using the completing the square or the quadratic formula and it will take you 2 minutes to solve it. Pero sa calculator, 10 seconds lang. <laughs> diba amazing? Okay, so we can now list the solutions of this quadratic equation. So, yung first x value natin is 9 plus 3 square root of 5, and the next one is 9 minus 3 the square root of 5. Okay, yung default na ginagamit ni calculator na variable is x. 
Of course, Z ang variable natin dito. So, Z ang sagot natin. 9 plus 3 is square root of 5. 3 is square root of 5. Last example. Okay, ano ulit yung first step? Isulat sa general form. 9x squared plus, meron tayong missing term, di ba? Kasi kung general term, nagmumukha siyang ganito. Ha? Dito kasi sa equation na binigay, wala yung second term. So we place a dummy variable, which is 0x, minus 4, kasi si 4 din na lamang sa kabila, equate sa 0. So naka-general form na siya. I-input natin siya sa, sa calculator. Then, yung A natin is 9. Yung B is 0. And then, yung constant term is negative 4. Press mo yung equals. Sinolve na ni calculator yung solutions ng quadratic equation na yan. So, the solution is 2 thirds at saka So, yun po guys, ang pag-compute ng solutions na quadratic equation using the scientific calculator. Kung nagbabalak kang mag ng stem strand, I recommend you to buy this. Or you can also buy the higher models, FX991ES, FX991ES+. Or sabi ko nga, you can install this in your phone. So, that's the application. They actually have the same functions. Although hindi nga sila magkamuka, pero they have the same functions. So yun po for today. Thank you for watching.